concrete. Concrete mix. The most commonly used concrete mix is the 1-2-3 mix. That is, 150 kg cement bag. Two same volumes of clean, dry sand. Three volumes of gravel. In which each stone is maximum 18 mm in diameter and 35 liters of clean water. Beach sand or seawater must never be used because the salt corrodes the steel reinforcements and damages the concrete. Mixing the concrete. Mixing the concrete must not be done directly on the ground because sand or soil could add to the mixture and ruin it. The mixing must always be done on a clean and hard surface, such as a concrete floor or timber boards. There are two ways of mixing concrete, by hand and with a concrete mixer. If it is done by hand, the following steps must be followed. One, make a pile with the gravel, the sand and the cement, but without water. Two, mix the dry pile by shoveling it to a new pile and repeat this by shoveling it back to the first pile, ensuring good mixing. Three, once the dry mixing is done, add the water and mix it again. Concrete test. The following test can be made to check that the concrete mix is optimal. Take a handful of concrete. If the concrete leaks through the fingers, the concrete is too wet. Concrete is not good either if it is too dry. It should be possible to make a ball with the concrete. Concrete must be used in less than one hour, otherwise it might start to harden or it might lose water by evaporation. Pouring of concrete in the plinth beam. For a correct pouring of the concrete, following steps must be followed. Before pouring the concrete, the formworks must be wet. Otherwise, the wood from the formwork could absorb the water from the concrete mix. Compact the concrete using a rebar and a hammer, or better, with a needle vibrator. If the mix is not liquid enough and does not flow down, Water should never be added to improve it. A new mix should be prepared instead. Roughen the top surface of the plinth beam to increase bonding of the mortar for the wall, which will be built on top. Pouring of concrete into the tie columns. The formwork of the tie columns must be wet before pouring, just like for the plinth beam. Don't pour more than a meter 20 in height of concrete per day. Pour concrete in layers up to 30 to 50 centimeters at a time. Compacting should be done after each layer, using a rebar and a hammer or a needle vibrator. Curing the concrete. If concrete is left to dry, it loses its water by evaporation and becomes less resistant. To avoid this, the formwork must be kept humid for three days, and only after can it be removed. Once the formwork has been removed, the concrete must be kept humid for seven more days by wetting it and covering it with a plastic sheet to avoid evaporation. This process is called curing and must also be done for the tie columns.